Hello, I'm Natalie Hendricks. Hi, I'm Martin Strom. Welcome to the Mindful AI podcast, where we explore human values in AI. Thanks for tuning in. In this very first episode, we will look into the purpose, format and structure of the Mindful AI podcast. And we'll also discuss how you can be part of it. So the purpose of the podcast is to explore the ethical aspect of AI. And one area that I'm particularly, you know, personally interested in investigating and learning more about is how and if can we embed human values into AI. Our intention is to facilitate meaningful conversation, conversations, inspire and influence the direction that AI is taking and maximize the benefits and help to minimize the risks of AI to humanity. We also intend to educate the general public in, uh, in terms of how can we consume AI more mindfully and also influence decision makers and AI professionals, including you know, machine learning engineers, data scientists, project managers, on how they can perhaps design, develop uh, and implement and govern AI in the world in a more ethical way. In terms of our audience, I believe that the, the Mindful AI podcast is relevant to anyone really on planet Earth right now, given the, the speed that AI is evolving. So not only AI professionals, but who can influence how AI is being, AI system solutions are being designed and deployed, but are also AI consumers, which are really all of us. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be able to, we thought we also share a little bit of our background and the motivations for us doing this. And I'm also hoping we can delve into what you might call some of the more deeper philosophical issues, like what happens if we reach a level of AGI and, and AI can develop into moral ethical agents making you know, autonomous decisions, that kind of thing. Yeah, and possibly beyond that, artificial consciousness and, and what is that, what are the ethical in implications of, of something like that. And in regards to the format and structure, the idea is that we'll invite experts in the field, interview them here and and those conversations, we don't want to have a set length, so it, I guess it could be 15 minutes or two hours if we really get into it. But we plan to put out monthly episodes with guest speakers that we interview. And then also in, in the meantime or in between, we might find something that me and Nat discuss, some, a book or an article or something that's a development, something that's happened. That's the plan for the structure. That's the plan. We'll see how it develops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and in terms of feedback, we truly would love you to be a very active participant. So please do place any suggestions in the comments below and uh, we will pay attention to those. And uh, yeah, feel free to give us constructive feedback, a praise if you wish. <laughs> but more importantly, really keen to hear what you would like to learn and perhaps people that you know experts in the field that you would like us to interview um, as well. And I should say also, we have three people lined up already for them. We're trying to book them in. I don't yeah. know if you want to share, maybe not. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. let's, let's, let's do a crossed. preview. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one is uh, Rasmus Hugard, who's the Managing Director of uh, Potential Project. And we got uh, Merv Hickok, the uh, President uh, for the Center for AI and Digital Policy. And then Dr. Kim Usthuysen, who's head of AI at SAP. So that's where we intend to try to start. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So next, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Martin Strom. Which is me. <laughs> <laughs> Already his official bio. So Martin is a multifaceted individual who wears many hats. He's the CEO of Interconnected, a company that merges tech with mental wellness through meditation apps. With a master's degree in both computer science and psychology, Martin is not just a tech guru, but also a licensed psychologist. He has advised giants like Microsoft and IKEA on mindful leadership and has co-authored books on mental clarity and kindness. A public speaker for over a decade, Martin is also a meditation teacher and sits on the board of three non-profits aimed at bringing contemplative practices like meditation into society at large. But his LinkedIn title sums it all up simply as 
fellow human being, <laughs> underscoring his mission to make the world a better place for all of us. So this is the official bio. Martin, what else do you think is relevant to share? What else do uh, you reckon the listeners could uh, be interested to learn about you so they understand your motivation to co-host the Mindful AI podcast? Yeah, I guess I, I have this weird background of, of computer science on one hand and being involved in lots of or not so, a bunch of tech startups, and but I'm, I'm also a licensed psychologist. So I guess those two things together might lead a person to be interested in the ethical aspects of AI and how it implement, or influences well-being and so on. But in terms of how we actually got to this point right here, you and me, I'll give a little backstory. So, Storytelling time. <laughs> yeah. No, and I'm originally from Sweden, but about seven years ago, I think it was, we traveled, me and my family, my wife and now 16-year-old daughter, she was six or seven back at the time. So it must have been eight years ago. Anyway, so we rented a camper van and we we're traveling down the east coast of Australia and then eventually we ended up in Melbourne. And in Melbourne, I realized that I had a colleague who worked for the same leadership development company as myself, which is the Potential Project. So I reached out to this colleague and asked if she wanted to have lunch. She did want to have lunch. And as you might have guessed, that colleague was not. Me. Yeah, and we really hit it off, realized that we share a lot of common interests and ideas and also the background with IT and, and meditation. It's this interesting mix. So then three years ago, I moved here with my family to, to Melbourne, Australia, and then me and Nat reconnected and we started thinking about things that we could do together and, and this was one of the initiatives that grew out of that conversation. Yeah, and in between, I can't remember if it was before and after, we met in, in um, not in Amsterdam, but like an hour from Amsterdam in the 10 years. Yeah, so that is true. We connected in Europe somewhere yeah. at some point. Yeah, when you told me about compassion training, but that's a, a whole, another yeah. rabbit hole. Another, <laughs> another podcast, another podcast. compassion <laughs> training Probably podcast. Soon, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so then I guess your turn. So I'll, I'll do your official bio. <laughs> Natalie Hendrix. And how do you actually pronounce your name? It's tricky. It's just like Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, Hendrix. Hendrix. Although it's a yeah. very long version, but it's, yeah, right. So it's just Hendrix. Yeah. I'm glad we got that sorted. All these years. <laughs> All these pronouncing years. My and, I, wrong and I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> there you go. It's a lecturer of positive psychology at Monash University uh, and the founder of the Mindful CIO a boutique executive coaching practice specializing in helping tech leaders to enhance performance and resilience through executive coaching, mindfulness mentoring, and other evidence-based practices grounded in neuroscience. She has worked as a leader for global consult consulting companies such as IBM, EY, and Accenture in the data analytics and business intelligence space, performing a variety of roles, including BI governance manager, scrum master, Solution architect, business analyst, and SAP consultant and programmer. And then fast forward to today, Natalie now focuses on coaching CIOs and CTOs and facilitating leadership development programs for AIM, the Australian Institute of Management. Natalie was born in Rio and has called Australia home since 2006. She is also a yogi, an avid gardener, and a passionate advocate of mindfulness in action. Yes, yeah, so that's the bio, and what's Very the, long bio. What's, <laughs> what's, the, what's the more human version of this? What brought you here? Yes, thank you. It's always interesting to listen to your own bio, isn't it? And yeah. having two careers doesn't help because it's just yeah, way too long. Anyhow, thinking aloud aside, yes. So what else is relevant to share? I think perhaps the the connection with the mind for AI manifesto. While I nearly did a master's in neural networks back in 2004, before I moved into moved to Australia as a skilled migrant, I really only AI only came back into my awareness in 2018. Mm. That's when I started to research and read a lot about AI. And then in 2020, um, way before the the Chat GPT hype. I wrote an article on LinkedIn called uh, titled The Mind for AI Manifesto, which initiated a, a global grassroots movement with the intention to raise awareness of the benefits of ethical AI to humanity alongside the risks of ungoverned AI. And 
targeting AI consumers, not all of us, as well as AI professionals. So the, the Mindful AI podcast, I think it's really another initiative along those, those lines to, to complement that, that purpose and, and that intention. We really want to connect like-minded uh, individuals, not only, again, not only AI professionals, which is very important, you know, people who are hands-on and can influence the, the design and development of those AI solutions, but also AI consumers. So hopefully we can influence decision makers to produce more a ethical AI, which keeps humanity best interest at heart. Mm. So that's, I think that's the link. Lovely. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Let's see how it develops. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how things goes and maybe just final note before we end this episode zero. If you end up enjoying this podcast, please can subscribe and, and all that good stuff. That's always very helpful. And please engage in the dialogue, post comments, reach out. And if you do have someone that you think should be on the podcast, please uh, don't hesitate to send them our way and we will interview them and see what wonderful and interesting things they have to say. Yeah, so thanks I think for, that's it. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll do our best to get interviewees that you suggest to have a chat. And meanwhile, yeah, thanks for your time, for your interest in ethical AI. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Yeah, bye for now. Thank you.